USA will start a group that's averaging 26 years of age. Usually they're averaging about 30 years of age. This is the youngest starting lineup to take the field since 2018. Last couple of days rain, so they were expecting some slippery conditions on this field. Lynn Williams heads it forward. A chance here. Hatch and Hatch. She scores in her first starting appearance. U.S. gets one of the earliest goals they have ever scored. In the first minute, maybe the first half minute. Yeah, and how about this to shake off some of those nerves? I mean, the U.S. just pounces on a free ball, really. Lynn Williams goes up, rises above. It's poor positioning by the center back. She does not read it well at all. And then Ashley Hatch just runs in behind, takes us in stride. That's a difficult touch. She bodies it down and sets herself up nicely for that half chance right there, the half volley. Underneath. Miranda under pressure, take it away. Here's Kerr firing. Say bye, Murphy. That man likes it. And one of the things the United States knew they could not do against Australia is give the ball up in those central dangerous areas in the build out. Lindsay Iran loses possession, and then Sam Kerr says, Why not? No pressure. Fingertip saved by Murphy, who slides over, does incredibly well to make that look easy. He's off Horan. Simon leads it, Fowler, with some room, and space for Kerr, in the box, quick save Murphy, second ball cleared, not out yet, and then it is cleared in the end, U.S. dodged one there, and almost nice a, footwork. Yeah, and almost a carbon copy of the goal that Kerr scored in the Olympics against the United States, that slashing run, coming from right to left. Behind the center backs, difficult angle, but she's able to put it on frame and test the goalkeeper. Mary Fowler does so well just to get the timing right. Drives at the back line. As soon as she sent to Sam Kerr, has got the window. She releases it and almost makes a play on the follow-up go. That's a free kick. It'll bounce. That's dangerous to four. Murphy is in the zone. This one goes over everyone. That flick right there. You think maybe it's a glancing header. Caitlin Ford wide open at the back post. A little bit of pressure comes in from Emily Fox. Ford strikes it so sweetly. Simon is one of the players out. Here's Purse. Challenging Purse in line in front and a goal for Laval 2 0. Well played by Mitch Purse. Absolutely. She just wins her 1v1 battle here. Drags the ball a bit wide and then it's a change of pace, the acceleration. She gets the edge on Nevin, and then that touch says adios to her. The cutback ball to Rose Lavelle, who's patient in her positioning. Right there. Creates her own angle and beats Tegan Micah at her near post. For Rose Lavelle, her 18th international goal. <laughs> Off Horan. Cut forward by Hatch towards Williams. Lynn Williams battles. Horan picked it up for Lavelle, but the whistle. The referee is pointed. She pointed. Looked like she pointed to the spot for a penalty. Horan with a strike and a goal. It's 3 0 U.S. Her 25th international goal. And here's the foul on Lindsay Horan. Happened so quickly, but the ref was on the spot, and then she steps up and puts that away. Coming into this match, Lindsay Horan said, this is a rivalry. This has become a rivalry. We felt it in the Olympics, then we faced them off in the third place game, and that's got to feel sweet to her. Almost close enough to tease Micah like she might. broken it wide open with a 3-0 lead. 
Oh, a giveaway there. Fowler looking. Fiery save again. Murphy. Corner, Australia. How good Casey Murphy has been. Mary Fowler picks this ball up off of Rasso. Turnover by Emily Sonnet. And we've said this over and over again. The United States giving away the ball cheaply in dangerous areas, providing opportunity for Australia. Mary Fowler has a go. Casey Murphy up to the challenge.